now. Easy mode. Oh, why the fuck not? Stephen King wants to know that nightmares boy. exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and is what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. And I'm also a rapist. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're starting a new playthrough, walkthrough, whatever. Of Alan Wake. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream yep. unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, wild. even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late. That's right. Desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Oh, I got. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Well, he was walking in the middle of the road. He's pretty dumb. He was dead. Damn. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. The plot fucking thickens. <gasps> Where the booty go? I don't know. Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode one, nightmare. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. All right, I hope my computer can handle it. I got my, I got my freaking fan cranked on high. So I should be able to cool it down, be able to run better. Might be a little bit choppy at times. My bad. So far it's running pretty good. I'm surprised. Let me look at my Yeah. That sounds about right. Don't wanna go too crazy. I'm fucking I I've seen great reviews, you know. It's up and down with reviews of these games, but it's a remedy game, so in my opinion, a lot of remedy games are pretty good. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. I must get to the lighthouse. But anyways, and plus it's kind of like a a scary action thriller game, and I'm like, I need some more scary games. Whoa. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? No, you think you're God. Just... You think you can just make up stuff? I'm just gonna wait. Play with people's lives and kill them with your big ass to the drama. You're in the story now, and I'll make you your focus. It would be a single readable sentence oh. in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories, cause I'm gonna kill you. What? Not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. What's You're going a on? lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. So my stories create real people? Lord, what? They're all junk. <laughs> so I guess I'm getting chased down. You missed your deadline. Ooh. Damn. Shift plus. <gasps> the dodging abilities. You can't stop me. Try to get dodge the attack. <laughs> you did. I realized what? that the hitchhiker what? What? was a character from the story I'd been working on. Oh, this is drunk. This is blind playthrough. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Leave me alone. Oh. Oh. Run. Mm. 
be chilled by wind. I hope there's nothing to pick up, because I'm I'm not picking up anything. So I'm trying to survive. <laughs> This is crazy. It's nuts. Oh, a bridge. I bet something's going to fall down. I can't run. I'm so fat. Hurry! You're coming. Hi. When they're convenient. And they're just... Um... Wait, it's me. Play Stuart, remember? Put the dead inside. There's no time to lose. I don't remember you. Sorry, too. <laughs> Oh, oh no! You're fucked. You're fucked! No! Damn it, die! No! No! Two bullets? No. I'm not prepared for anything. I do have two bullets. What is he expecting? Yeah, what the fuck? I'm gonna turn my volume and just make it worse. I wonder who's the actor for that eyeball. I had to get out. <laughs> Get out where? Where? I'm losing health. Oh. Oh. So I'm healed by light. That is fucking magic right there. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. <laughs> no, I don't understand anything. Oh, this light is freaking gypsy magic right now. <laughs> I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn the flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did. Can't beat him up. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. I'm backing up. Here, take the gun. Oh, how nice. Thank you. Now you'll <laughs> Good. You've done well. Remember what I taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. This is a dream? No oh, shit. In the Spoilers. Nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. <laughs> This is totally a writer look and narrate. Ooh, jeez. You made me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Oh, nice. Thank you. I got it now. Tap. Reload that. This is it. Suck it. 
Enter battery. Oh no, not this. Uh, this is tough to get the, the gist of it. So many items to be up. Any batteries? What is this? Do you like. I'm the light. Suck it. Ooh. Yes, I'll take some ammo. One, three, okay, okay. So it's not too confusing. Anyways, yeah, I heard mixed shit with this game, but it looked great, and I need another, I guess, scary game. This game's somewhat scary at times. Out of batteries! Alright, fuck myself up. Is there ammo or anything? I don't even know. Watch me get lost. What? Close call. <laughs> I'm cutting it close. I'm probably wasting ammo. I gotta probably save. But do I have to kill him? Nope. Nope. I don't think I can kill everyone. I don't know, I'm is... kinda tired of not. Fuck them! <laughs> I'll always get to the lighthouse because. Ooh, that's not right. Yeah, buddy. You're angry. I must have taken the wrong turn. I'm pretty sure these guys keep responding, I'm just going to leave. Oh, there's an area right here, what the fuck am I doing? Checkpoint. No light? Um, I guess I'm going this way! Your hacks, man. Your hacks. Too fast, huh? Yep. Too good. Whoa! Lighthouse, save me. Is that a battery? I want that battery. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Coffee! What the fuck do I need that for? Ooh. Light! I gotta be safe. Fuck yeah, light for the wind. This game is getting tense. <laughs> I'm glad my PC is running it smoothly. For this is kind of actually a, this game is pretty damn powerful. You know, it takes quite a bit if you want full fledged. Greatness. This still looks good. He's here. Oh my god. Don't give me the grudge. It's like the grudge. Oh shit. <laughs> Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. You smile too much, at least your More upper lip is stuck. Would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Here up, handsome. We're here. I hope 
I'm pretty sure the game looks better than this, it's probably just, you know, my graphic settings. It can't be perfect, you know? Okay, so it's all a nightmare. Oh, boy. Alan Wake, you're a loony. <laughs> Whatever. I guess that's why I only write books that are probably like, scary books or something. I'm not sure what he writes. But this looks beautiful. And it's not even like, f like full settings, which is sad, but I wish I could run full settings, but this looks good. Nice, nice ride we got here. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city Push for moments English. before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Deer. You have Where? a lovely wife, if you don't mind me saying. Her, get away. <laughs> yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. She's still taking pictures. I'm a reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. All right, dude. You still taking pictures of me, girl? No, she's done. Should I talk to you? Hi. Do you enough pictures? Nice. I got a couple of really good ones. So you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Cute. That old man might yeah. attack me. Stellar? That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? This is so cinematic. Say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. I'm breaking the game. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry. We're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you <laughs> call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Whoa, you love him? You know he's going to be calling you yeah. every five minutes. <laughs> Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Barry, what a guy. Alan, Are we we're there here. yet? Come on, let's get back to the car. Which can I get in my hot rod car? I was driving that. Let me guess my nightmare. I was just wishing I'd rather drive that car than this. That's funny. It's like I wanna drive this old car. Classy, nice looking car instead of this dumb station wagon. Come on, slowpoke. You get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. I was about to. I was just talking to myself. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. Stucky. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Sink. Friggin' product placement. Alan, <laughs> thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. <laughs> She's like, peace out, bitches. Uh oh I've forgotten there were still places like this. I need some vertical sink going on here. <laughs> it's gonna be glitchy. Everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake, Alan Wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey. Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. People just love me. Believe it. I've got all of your books. I got I must have interesting books. When they took it out of the window. 
And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Ah, uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Try the coffee. Oh. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Cause it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyways, I was saying... Are you um, long, Mr. Wick? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Alan Wake must be a really good writer. Do me a favor, sonny! I could really <coughs> use a tune <coughs> right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> Anywho, as I was saying, Alan Wake must be a great you writer. Put the lime in the coconut. Drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. As I was saying, he must be a good writer. Because yes, old people. My favorite tune, coconut. And young people. It does that. Get stuck. If I had my yeah, hammer, I'd you shut need it to for give you. it a good hard whack. Must be a good writer because old people and young people Two like his books. Six in the jukebox. Children of the Elder God. Now Bam! Karate chop it. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. This is groovy. Can I get in here? No. Let me jam it out. Anywho, I'm trying to find stuck. Well, I'll, I'll take this. I don't know what this thing does. Uh huh. Is there something wrong here, dude? Or ma'am? Go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans listen. always did. This can't be good. <laughs> Carl! That's the ladies' restroom. Mm. Shit's about to get real, I feel it. Hello? Hello? Mr. Stucky? He seems to be stuck in the toilet. <gasps> Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet you. She's scared. Don't trust her. I insist. Thanks. Why is she even wearing that thing on her? Why is she wearing fish dip face veil like she's going to a funeral? Cauldron <laughs> Lake is a special place, very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. She's like me. She is the dark. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> splendid, splendid! Oh. <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift it. This thing heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time gone. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. But they're not even two coconuts. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Thank you. That information 
I'm just. If you, I swear, if you talk to me, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bye, Mr. Wake. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Oh. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Something's wrong with that guy. <laughs> We got Can a key to do, my bet. This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it Hell out when I get back home. Okay. Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Look at copyright, it's so bad this music. I don't care, look at them little part little, little dust dust balls in the air and man, that's freaking high tech graphics. Divers Isle. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's so gorgeous. Right. Not worry. bad. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I oh. wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. That's a shame. Cause some fun things and good stuff happen in the dark, but like fireworks and shit, but I guess if you got phobias and you got phobias. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. What we break. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sorry. Oh, I thought that was blood, but it's just chipping. Big damn A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of it before. Hello? Anyone here? Hmm. I got a ton of lights. Where's the lights? What's this with these coffee thermos? They must mean something. Don't know what. There's a freaking power generator. Nope. Nope. Where's the light switch? Was it dear? For oh. a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Oh, Damn. bitch! Get out of my face! I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box the fuck and is that? somewhere on the island. That doesn't look normal. Like a diver suit. Meh. Why that chick have to jump in my face like that? God damn. It didn't look like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. 1970? Damn. This has been used for a while. Keep the power on. I wish I knew. Alright, I'm gonna have to go outside. Yeah. Damn, why she... Mm. Scared me like that. Turn on. Let me turn my radio on. The Deerfest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. We'll see if we can rope them into an interview later on. Now let's uh, go to the phones, caller. You're on KBF FM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. 
Oh, great. She's yapping about me. Sure, he's glad to be here too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. Now some music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. <laughs> I'm not swimming. All right, looks like I have to go out the front door then. God. The power cable goes to that shed over there. It's gotta be tough to be you, phobia of darkness. That's tough life. Tough luck. Tough life, tough tough luck, tough everything. Tough I can't talk, but I don't really mind going this shed. I don't want to get attacked. Is this a door? No. There's a door. An old generator had been connected to the power. Jeez. Friggin' this is deadly looking. Look at that, is that a gas tank or a muffler? Oh my god, it's smoking like a beast. Let's go. <laughs> that thing's an automatic beast. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Okay. Have fun. Fun. I just got jump scared. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. Forget about my worries. Bye bye. Pussy. I thought we could be happy here. <laughs> How long is your vacation? How long are you gonna be living here? Where are you? What is with this tree? The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. I do bought your trick simulator and oh, he's he's in for a disappointment. Unless the game's actually fun, I don't even know. It's just like a truck game. Making do uh, Alice? Honey? I didn't even get a picture for that achievement. Where are we about? Well, this is supposed to be black. I swear Hi, if she, I'm upstairs. She's, I have a surprise for you. Oh god. I swear if it's gonna be like lingerie and shit. Well, Hello there. I should have known. Surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Of course she's going to be in pajamas. What, what are we looking at? Study. What do we call the study? Is this the study? We are studying. Oh, look at me. Surprise. We're a writer. Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn it, Alice. You... Everyone hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local a... doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Damn, God you damn. really hate knew writing, don't you? Me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh, oh great. What traumatizing stuff is gonna happen now? I'm ready for it. Damn it. Alice? Alice! Cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. <laughs> Alice, where are you? Help! Alice! Whoa! 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 What the hell? I have bad cardio. I can't run that fast.
perfect dive. Oh my god. Keep going. Wake up. Alice? No. <laughs> no. The Waiting fuck is going on? The car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. What's going on? Dead. I'd have to find help on foot. What the frick is going on? 